Girls love this masculine body language, attractive male poses you can impress women with, alpha. Leave a like on the video my love and if you are new to the channel subscribe to receive new advice, do this to help the channel continue to grow, leaving a like is all I ask as a gift. Masculine behavior normally comes down to two things, the first being showing other guys that you're not threatened by them, and secondly, showing girls that you are the real deal and that you don't just intimidate others. Girls love it when men display masculine body language because it makes them look confident, strong, and like a protector. Today, I'm going to teach you about the types of masculine body language that girls absolutely adore, and to keep you on the right track, I'm also going to tell you about one thing that guys do that actually makes them look weak. Let's go! Masculine guys set the pace. It's all in the way they walk. Masculine guys walk with purpose. They don't shuffle or walk with their head low, run off the person in front of them, or walk in a stressed hurry. They walk with purpose and power, their heads are up straight, shoulders back. They don't walk slowly, but also they're not in a hurry. They walk like the world runs on their schedule, and they are in control of it. A masculine man walks in such a way that any girl that he is with will change their speed to match his. He's also polite enough to walk at their speed, but mostly, it's the way he walks, and girls know straight away that he is masculine. Masculine guys sit up straight. So many guys forget their posture when their date arrives at the table. The first thing they see is a guy sitting slumped over, scrolling through his phone with his head down. This is not what would happen if a girl was walking in and sees a masculine date. He would be sitting up in his chair, looking straight ahead, which would allow him to see his date walking in, catching her eye, and flashing his smile. Which guy would you rather walk in on? Masculine guys have good posture whether they are sitting down or standing, and this makes them appear more confident. And remember, girls love confidence. The masculine guy opens up his chest. Masculine guys often take up more space, and I don't mean manspreading, which is men obnoxiously taking up space that women can't sit down. It's more of a natural thing because they have great posture, which means their body sizes are averagely bigger. Now, a masculine guy tends to open up his chest area more, which makes him look naturally confident and therefore taking up more space in a room. They make a good first impression. Their body language, like the way they walk, their posture, and their open chests, gets them noticed by the ladies. They still have to speak, though, and make a good first impression, and masculine guys are not just about looks, they are great speakers. They naturally make a good first impression by simply just being themselves. They ask the other person about themselves, and they tell them a little bit about them. They offer up interesting conversation and overall, they come across as approachable, confident, and stable, all things that girls love and something that they're looking for. Masculine guys display control. If a masculine guy says no to something, he means it. He sticks to his word and he stands by it. He has control over his actions, which also means if he decides to do something, well, he's going to do it. The masculine men are high achievers, they don't procrastinate. Instead, they display control and get that job done. The same applies to their romantic lives. If they meet a girl and they like her, then they won't take an interest in any of the girls that might throw themselves at him. He only has eyes for that one lady, and girls love that determination, the control, and the dedication that the masculine man possesses. Masculine guys have style. Dressing in a sloppy way is not something that you will find a masculine guy ever doing. They are stylish and always well-groomed and dressed. Masculine guys often have what is called a capsule wardrobe, which basically means they have all of the basic pieces they need and replace them often. This means a few nice pairs of jeans, some nice casual shirts, dress shirts, trainers, dress shoes, plus some jumpers. This forms the basis of a capsule wardrobe, and masculine men replace these items often so that they always look in style and look refreshed. And good style is something that the masculine man always has, and it always impresses the ladies, without a doubt. Masculine guys message ladies back. Masculine guys will always message back. They hold themselves accountable for their actions and are very respectful. Girls that date them know that they will always be there and be honest. If they are busy, they will simply message the girl and say, Sorry, I'm really busy, I will message you soon. They will also tell them if they don't feel the same way as the girl. Girls actually appreciate this honesty, although it might hurt at first. Masculine guys are also never afraid to text a girl first, but they won't keep sending messages if she's not replying. 
He has respect for himself as well as her, and girls can trust their masculine men, which is why they enjoy dating them and being in relationships with them. Masculine guys stay fit. What do you picture when you think of a masculine guy? Most of you are probably picturing a bodybuilder in a gym. Sure, bodybuilders can be masculine, but it's not just them. Any guy can be masculine, you don't need huge muscles or a six-pack. Masculine guys stay fit because they look after themselves. They want to look their best and feel their best, so they may lift weights, they may go running, they may go for a swim. They do something that suits them and their body, and they stay strong, and this is something that girls love about them. Their fitness comes across in their body language, from the way they talk, the way they stand, and even sit, and they just look better and are often the most confident people in the room. Masculine guys like a challenge. They don't give up easily. They are willing to work towards something for years if they think it is worth it. This includes a challenging relationship or winning a girl over. They will try and try and try again and always put 100% effort into something. In fact, masculine guys love being faced by a challenge, it keeps their lives interesting because to them, there would be nothing worse than living an uneventful life. They show girls that they are up for that challenge by immediately making strong eye contact when they meet, and obviously, girls love this determination. Masculine guys are leaders. Some people learn to become a leader, and others are born leaders. Masculine guys are born to be them. They have that natural confidence that is needed to lead a group of people. They are also fair, respectful, empathetic when people come to them with issues. They also display leadership style body language, you know, open arms, uncrossed legs, and they use their hands to illustrate what they are saying. Now, they make some of the best managers and they often find themselves at the top of the company quickly, and girls find this really sexy because it makes them driven and successful. The masculine guy is not negative. Everyone experiences some form of dissatisfaction from time to time, and yeah, we can get trapped in that negative cycle, and then it can be hard to escape from. We've all been there, we have all had those down periods. But masculine guys don't stay down. They get back up. They feel depressed for as long as they need to and then they're back up, kicking. They are emotionally mature and deal with their thoughts and feelings. This means they can easily get back on track to being positive and strong for themselves and those around him. If he kept all of his feelings inside, then it would be a lot harder for him to get out of that funk. Instead of focusing on the negatives of everything, he sees the positives, and this is what sets masculine guys apart from other guys, and it's something that the girls admire about them. If you've made it this far, my love, comment below with the word, 100%, or something else to let me know, to confirm that you've received the knowledge from the video so far. For more interesting topics, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video and share it later. Let's continue. 97% of girls want men to who do this. What women want in a man, 22 gestures that impress girls. There are things that girls really want men to do more of, and sadly, girls don't always communicate this with the guys in their lives. Men are not mind readers, so girls just continue to get more annoyed until they explode, and it all ends in a disagreement. Sometimes men do one of these things once, but then they forget to do it again, and it really drives girls crazy when men do not do these things. In the worst case scenario, it can lead to a breakup. This is why it's easier for men to just learn what these things are so that they can do them and keep their ladies happy. But how do you find out what these things are? Well, obviously, that's where I come in. In today's video, I'm going to tell you about the things that, in girls' eyes, men do not do enough of so that you can be the dream man for any lady who is lucky enough to have you. Like and subscribe. Remembering their birthday is a must, but there's a little bit more than that. They want you to remember work dates they have coming up or their best friend's birthday. Remembering dates and events that mean a lot to them shows them that you care about them. Showing your affection in public, don't just show her affection at home or even in the bedroom. Show it off in public as well. Girls love it when men hold their hands or even just simply put their arm around her when they are out in public together. It's a nice thing to do. Putting down the toilet seat, honestly, guys, it takes a minute and it's so easy. Girls hate walking into bathrooms when the toilet seat is still up. Dressing up for her, make an effort to dress up when you go out on a date with a girl, or just when you guys are both doing something together. If you do struggle to pick something to wear, then ask her. She will love that you have asked her and will have so much fun picking out an outfit for you. Opening doors for her, 
opening car doors or the door to a restaurant is a fantastic way to show a lady just how much of a gentleman you really are. Dancing, that's right, girls want a guy that can dance with them. It could be around the house, in a club, on the dance floor, or just whilst you guys are making tea in the kitchen. You don't have to be good, you just have to be willing to do it with them and make fun of yourself a little bit. Girls find it so fun when they can dance with a guy. Having an active lifestyle, girls love it when a man looks after himself, and one way to do this is by maintaining that active lifestyle. Going to the gym, walking every day, or even playing your favorite sports are some great ways to stay fit. Keeping active is also a positive thing for your mental health and overall well-being. Protecting her, from birth, most girls have had a man who has protected them, which could have been their dad or even their granddad. They don't want you to be their dad, obviously, because that would be very unhealthy, but she does want you to protect her. She wants you to look after her in a large crowd and to look after her when she's feeling not so perky. Doing something special for no reason, do not wait for an anniversary or a birthday to do something special. Just do it for no reason. Turn up in your car and deliver a bunch of flowers to her just for the sake of it. Remember, girls love romance and lots of gestures just like this. Taking an interest in her passions and hobbies, you both will have your own passions and hobbies that you like to do as separate people, and she will be paying attention to yours and even try to get involved when she can. You need to do the same. Taking an active interest because girls really want guys to do this more. Cooking for her, girls absolutely love it when they can put their feet up whilst the man cooks for them instead. There is something so sexy about a guy who cooks, and women really rate it as a high quality that they look for in a long-term partner. Sticking to your word, this one is really simple, isn't it? If you say that you are going to go and do something, then please make sure you do it. Spending time with her friends, yes, it might feel a little bit cringy. They could be very loud and sometimes even annoying, but they are her friends and they mean a lot to her, so you need to accept this and spend time with them. Next time she asks if you would like to meet them for a drink, simply say yes and she is going to be over the moon. Writing her a love poem, yeah, it's a little bit sloppy, but it's also very romantic, and who writes poems anymore? Actually, probably no one. Girls will absolutely love to receive some form of poetry from you. Only someone who really likes her would actually write a poem, right? So she's going to feel incredible. So do this, and it could be simple, write it on a post-it note and stick it to the mirror in her car. Be a good listener, we all need someone who takes the time and the patience to listen to what we have to say. Sometimes it could be problems that we are going through, something very stressful, or simply just a bit of a moan about the photocopier at work. We want someone who is going to listen intently to what we have to say and to focus on us in that moment. So do this more for her, and she's gonna feel incredibly valued by you. Be vulnerable with her, men can be very good at keeping their feelings to themselves and not wanting to share and open up. They might think of it as a sign of weakness or just maybe they were raised this way. Girls are very emotional and they can easily get vulnerable with you, which is why they want you to do the same. If you can't be vulnerable with her, then you won't be able to be that emotionally close, and your bond won't be as strong. So open up to her and trust that she is gonna love you regardless. Take her shopping, they do say that diamonds are a girl's best friend, but I kind of don't really believe that. Shopping is a girl's best friend. She doesn't always want to go shopping with her friends, her sisters, her girlfriends, sometimes she wants to go with you. Even though for most guys, shopping is their idea of hell, it would mean so much to her if you did tag along. And now, if you do want those serious brownie points, then please take her shopping. Compromising, every great, healthy relationship takes a lot of compromises. You have found a lady that you love, who is similar to you, and seems to understand you. That's not enough though. She's not always going to agree with everything that you think and do, and this is one of the biggest pitfalls in any relationship. Some people believe that you must agree with everything, but it's not about what you agree on or with, it's how you both compromise that makes a relationship long-standing. Make sure you both compromise whenever you have a disagreement. One of you is not going to win every time, and that's okay. Spending time with her family, women love spending time with their family, and she wants you to spend time with them too. It's important to her that you get on with her family and that you can all bond. They are the most important thing to her, and so obviously it would mean a lot to her if you could hang out with them from time to time. Being great with little kids, 
if a girl is in a relationship with you, she probably has the hopes that one day you will get married or have children if that's what she wants to do. And there is nothing more attractive to a girl than when she sees her man playing in a nice, adorable way with small children. Her motherly instincts immediately come out, and she starts to see what you would be like as a father. Making her laugh, it is so simple but it means so much. She wants you to make her laugh all of the time. Now, we all take life a little bit too seriously sometimes, and if you can't laugh with your partner, then who can you laugh with? Make her laugh as often as you can. You will notice the relationship works to be a little bit sweeter. Being her biggest cheerleader, she wants you to always be proud of her and to tell her to just go and do the things she loves, whether it's a career, a hobby, or a sport that she loves. She wants you to cheer along, and she is going to do the same for you and will most definitely be your biggest cheerleader. You can show her that you are cheering her on by going to any major important event and asking her how things are going. If you've made it this far, my love, comment below with the word, 100%, or something else to let me know, to confirm that you've received the knowledge from the video so far. For more interesting topics, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video and share it later. Let's continue. Girls respect men who do, this, 9 powerful tips you need to know. There are certain things that men do that girls respect, and we all know respect is not something that is automatically given, we need to earn it. Especially when it's from a new lady that you've only just started dating, as she does not know anything about you yet. Once a girl respects you, she's going to start to take you seriously, and she will trust you more, which is very important if you would like that relationship to grow further. So, gentlemen, in today's video, I'm going to tell you what you can do to earn a girl's respect so that you can progress your relationship forwards and win her over. Like and subscribe, let's go. Okay, pretty easy, this one, never lie. Now let's flip it over, would you respect someone if you knew that they were not truthful all of the time? Probably not, right? You need to make sure that you are always telling the truth and you never lie to her. If you do have to lie about something, then make sure you tell the truth afterwards and then explain why you had to lie on this occasion. Come on, we all tell small white lies every now and again, don't we? But don't let them grow or become too big. A girl will never trust a man who lies to her because you could also hurt her feelings. For example, if she asks you what your favorite food is, don't lie and tell her that it's something fancy when it's actually just baked beans. I understand that's a very small, small dinky lie and something that won't come back to haunt you, but if down the track, however, the girl discovers that you have lied about this, she might start to question everything else that you've said. And guys, come on, it's just easier to tell the truth. Treat her with respect. If you want her to respect you, then you need to respect her too. You should always make sure she is being respected, even when she's not there. She needs to know and trust that when she steps out of a room, you still treat her with the same amount of respect that you would if she was standing right next to you. So, make sure you are thinking twice before saying something if you think you would not say that to her face. And when you are together, don't talk over her or interrupt her. You need to give her the space to say whatever is on her mind, and she needs to feel like she can be open and can be honest with you. It's important that from the beginning, you show her respect as women do need this, and therefore, she can develop trust and respect you back. Respect your relationship. If anyone says something about your relationship that you disagree with, you need to make sure to stand up for yourself and the relationship that you have together. No one knows what you guys have together, and when someone tries to bring it down, you've got to stand tall, defend yourself, and the relationship. For example, if a friend questions why you are both together, reply with, well, it's our relationship and none of your business, and you both know why you are together, and that's all that matters. She needs to know that you would also stand up for your relationship with her and for her only. Always keep your promises. If you make a promise, you have to keep it. When you break a promise, you actually break down the confidence that she has in you, and over time, you're gonna get less respect too. If you keep your promises, she will come to learn that when you make a promise, you're making a commitment, and if you can't guarantee it to her, then don't make a promise. Let's say you promise to meet her on a date, for example, and then you forget and stand her up. She may never forgive you, and you may have lost her forever. So, always make sure that you both have open and honest communication so that you can both trust and rely on the other person. Never look desperate. There is nothing worse than someone who begs. If she rejects you the first time around, then don't hound her and act desperate. Instead, gents, just wait and be there for her when she decides she wants to make a move. 
you need to give her space to make that decision, whether that is to be with you or to not be with you. When you force something, not only may you scare her away, but if she stays, it can create an unhealthy relationship, which no one likes. She will never respect you if you have to push her on her decision. You need to remember that good things come to those who wait, so play it cool, and you'll end up a winner. Don't tell her what she wants to hear. As long as you're not being rude, be honest. She is gonna respect you for being honest with her when you tell her how it truly actually is. If you want to go and see your friends, then say it. If you don't want to watch that rom-com, then say it. She might not love the idea at first but will grow to respect that you are being honest and open about what you do and don't want to do in life. Obviously, every relationship takes some compromise, so sometimes you just need to say yes and watch that rom-com, even if you don't want to watch it. We can't always do everything that we want to do in life, sometimes we just have to suck it up, and if you tell her what she wants to hear all of the time, she's gonna feel like you are a weak person with no backbone, and you do not want that at all. Remember, you want her to respect you, so you need to be strong in your opinions and decisions without being rude. So, be open and honest with her, and in the long run, she will be able to fully respect you for it. Don't be needy. There is nothing worse than a clingy guy or a girl. It immediately turns you off and makes you see them as a weak person. And if you want a girl to respect you, then you need to have your own life. That way, you don't need to be needy because you've got so much incredible stuff going on in your life. You're going to have friends to see, sports to play, and lots of goals to achieve, and she is simply another person in your already amazing life. Yeah, it's nice to have her around, but you don't need to see her all the time or even beg for her attention. Now, once she realizes that you are like this, and your life is amazing, she's gonna respect you a lot more. Be a man. That's right, toxic masculinity can be really damaging, and the truth is, I really hate that saying, be a man. What I mean here, though, is that women are often more attracted to alpha male behavior. These are confident men who have a lot going on for them. It's actually less about them going to the gym or how they look, it's more about their personality, how driven they are to succeed, and what they provide. Everyone respects these types of men a lot more because they are often a lot more kind and confident, and women are instantly attracted to these types of guys, they respect them almost instantly. Now, you don't need anything special to adopt these types of traits, you just need to work hard to reach these standards, and once you do, not only will you have more luck with the ladies, but you will be respected by them as well. Actions are stronger than words. Just like if you make a promise, you should follow through with it, and the same goes for your actions. If you say something, you need to act that way as well. For example, if you say that you respect women, then you need to actually act on that and show them respect. Any words that you speak should be followed up with the same actions to match that. Women will really respect you for it and will be more likely to date you because of it. If you think I missed something from today's video, let me know down in the comments. Give me a huge thumbs up and consider subscribing to make my day. But if you want to get your name rolling up next to my face like these amazing people's names here, then all you have to do is click the link in the description bar below to find out a little bit more. Have an amazing day, see you soon.